Born and raised in Pontiac, Michigan, Lynn Salathiel graduated from Waterford Township High School before enrolling at Alma College, where he played football and ran track for four years, while also participating in the Alma College Choir and the Alma Singers. He also met an outstanding and inspirational English professor named Dr. Sam Cornelius, whose passion for teaching profoundly influenced Lynn and who became his first mentor and guide. Lynn graduated from Alma in 1961 with a BA degree in English. He would later earn a master's degree in humanities from Central Michigan University in the 1980s. Lynn began his teaching career in the fall of 1962 as the only male teacher in the English department at Traverse City Senior High School. The department at that time was a matriarchy of strong, outstanding teachers, including Eleanor Stocking, Betty Parker, Wynne Beatty, and led by Geraldine Pagel. Lynn suspected that none of the women liked him very much at the start. Soon, however, he would join with two outstanding colleagues, Walt Oberlin and John Sabo, to team teach Walt's humanities classes, which utilized art, music, literature, history, film, and poetry to reach central ideas and encourage critical thinking. He was part of a creative faculty who fostered an outstanding and innovative curriculum and which challenged students to always do their best. Students described his classes as challenging yet magical, learning in the Socratic style, and helping each student find our strengths. Lynn was also interested in athletics and began coaching the Trojan tennis team from 1963 until 1966 and served as an assistant football coach before becoming coach of Traverse City's downhill ski team in 1967. Over the next 18 years and after the MHSAA added downhill ski to their championship sport offerings in 1975, he would lead the Trojans to 20 regional championships, 11 boys teams and nine girls teams, and eight state championships, five boys and three girls. He coached 25 all-state skiers and six individual state champions, was named Detroit News Coach of the Year three times, and is an inaugural member of the Michigan High School Ski Coaches Association Hall of Fame. Lynn has also served as co-director of the Mount Holiday Ski School and the Record Eagle Ski School. In the mid-1980s, Lynn joined longtime colleague Dave Parrish and a group of other teachers to enroll in Central Michigan University's graduate program in humanities, which led to re-establishing the former humanities classes based partly on Howard Gardner's multiple intelligences approach to teaching. After 36 years of teaching high school, Lynn retired in 1998, but shortly thereafter teamed once again with Dave Parrish to create and teach classes for 15 years in the Northwestern Michigan College Extended Education Program. He also became a Life Academy Advisory Council member at NMC and sings in the NMC Community Choir. In retirement, Lynn and his wife Pat joined the Warm Hearts Foundation, a non-denominational group out of Grand Rapids dedicated to lifting those less fortunate out of poverty and into self-sufficiency by providing clean water sources, safe shelter, nourishment, and educational opportunities. Working in the countries of Kenya and Malawi, they joined the organization's board of directors in 2016 after a 17-day trip to Africa and returned to work on projects in 2018. Lynn and Pat were married in 1966 and spent their honeymoon appropriately skiing in Aspen, Colorado and working that summer in Davos, Switzerland. They are the proud parents of two daughters, Kristen, Traverse City High School Class of 1985, and Kate, Traverse City High School Class of 1987. They have four grandchildren, three who recently graduated from college, and one recent high school graduate. We are proud to recognize Lyndon Salathiel for his outstanding professional career teaching English and humanities, for his extraordinary coaching success with the Trojan downhill ski teams, and for his continuing civic and international involvement, improving the lives of many people in Traverse City and Africa.